hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well i'm really sorry if the rain is really loud it is the most miserable day outside today it is so gray and cloudy the past few days it has been so sunny and i thought it was looking up but clearly not <laughs> But in today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through a glute workout. I have not done a like glute focused workout video in a while and I know you guys love them because I know that all of my girlies want to grow their glutes. 95% of the girlies anyway want to grow their glutes <laughs> and it just so happens that it is a Monday, it's a fresh week. I always do my glute workouts on a Monday. It's just when I personally like to get them done. I just think starting the week off with one of the hardest sessions just getting it over and done with just makes me feel so much better for the week and I end up just feeling so good and ready to just start my week off on a positive note when I start with a glute session it's just literally what I've done for the longest time I feel like it would just feel weird to me now to start my weeks off with like a push workout or a pull workout but yeah I'm gonna try and take you guys through the workout as in-depth as possible I think I will do a voiceover for it but yeah if you guys watch my content regularly or have watched it for a while you will know that my workouts more or less look very very similar every single week this glute workout will probably look very very similar to the past glute workouts that I've done in the past and the reason for that is because to make actual progress with regards to building muscle you need to be staying with the same exercises every week and utilizing progressive overload in them perfecting your form in those certain exercises and obviously when I say progressive overload I mean things like increasing weight, increasing reps, increasing tempo. There's so many different forms of progressive overload, but within those same exercises, if you stick with those same exercises and utilize progressive overload within them, I can guarantee that you will see great muscle growth, obviously alongside a lot of other factors. I also did just want to touch on that before I get into this video as well. Although this video might be an amazing glute workout and it's the workout that's helped grow my glutes, a lot along with obviously a few other workouts there are also many other things that have helped me grow my glutes as well like if you just follow this workout on its own without any kind of care for your nutritional intake your diet your protein intake your rest and recovery you will not see the glute growth that you want you have got to do this workout alongside other things as well to see sufficient muscle growth and that is not even just in regards to glutes that is in regards to just muscle growth in general obviously this video is is to do with the glutes so I'm just going to talk about that specifically but that just goes with regards to any muscle group so if you are you know copying your favorite influencers workout it's not going to do anything if you're not doing other things to also help spur along the muscle growth journey so just to name a few few things like I literally just mentioned rest and recovery if you are not getting enough rest and recovery your muscles are not going to grow they're not going to repair and you're going to feel way more fatigued so you're not going to be able to put your all into your sessions you're not going to have enough energy nutritional intake if your diet is full of shit and you're not focusing on the foods that you are eating you're not prioritizing whole foods and the food that you are eating is just very low quality that is also going to stunt your muscle growth as well and make it a very very slow process process for you uh, also high protein intake if you're not eating a high protein diet it's also going to be very 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 difficult for you to build muscle protein helps to build and repair the muscle tissue that you have broken down during your workout so if you're not replenishing your protein stores simple as your muscle tissue is not going to rebuild and it's not going to grow another factor would be water intake if you are not drinking enough water you're not hydrated enough that is also going to massively stunt your muscle growth as well i feel like people underestimate the importance of water intake when you're trying to build muscle it's also so important for so so many other factors but for building muscle especially it's really really important and those are just a few things to name that you should be doing alongside the workouts that you are currently doing because you cannot out train a bad diet you have to be doing multiple things at once to make progress yeah i'm just having some pre-workout right now i wanted to show you guys my outfit as well we're gonna have to move back because my seat's really far forward i'm practically licking the steering wheel in my car i'm that short anytime anybody gets in my car i'm like hi <laughs> right at the steering wheel um but i want to show you my outfit for today because i really really like it so this is um honor active olive olive oil green I'm pretty sure that is it for this long intro and yeah 
let's get on with the workout. I always start off with a warm up, you guys know this by now. My warm ups last like five to 10 minutes and it's mostly really just to get blood flowing around my body and to also mobilize myself, especially my hips and my knees. Obviously this is a leg day, so it's a different warm up to my upper body days, but you wanna make sure that your knees are mobile, your hips are mobile and you are just feeling kind of like limbered up. And as I said, blood is flowing to your muscles because we don't wanna be causing any injuries. I would rather you maybe do one less set or a few less reps or even one less exercise and actually complete your warm up at the start of your workout. It is so important. And if you don't want to injure yourself, which nobody does, it is a crucial part of your workout. The first exercise that I went into was hip thrusts and I've actually started doing these on the Smith machine instead of with a barbell or on the glute drive. I just feel like I get such a better connection on the Smith machine. I don't know what it is, but yeah, I'm definitely working on increasing my weight on these on the Smith machine. I obviously managed to work up my weight with a barbell, but obviously it's a little bit different with the Smith machine. So I'm just kind of getting to grips with it, with what weight I can do and things like that. But as you will have just seen, I did a few reps of a warm up, a couple of warm up sets. I did one set with no weight on either side and then another set with just a couple of plates on either side. I think I did maybe like four reps of each just to again, get blood flow into the area and get my body used to the movement. And then going into the proper reps and sets, I did three sets of eight to 10 reps. And with this movement, you really wanna keep your chin tucked into your chest and your head kind of like straight forward. You do not wanna be moving your head around to the back, to the front. You just don't wanna be moving it around. You wanna keep it in one position. You don't want to have your legs too wide apart, but you also don't want to have them too close together. Kind of like a neutral stance. You also don't want to be going too high at the top either and kind of overly extending your glutes. And you want to just be contracting the glutes throughout. Keeping the movement nice and slow and controlled. And as always, pushing yourself, not necessarily until failure in all the sets, but you want to be pushing yourself so that you can barely get the last rep. Next up, I went into some RDLs. And again, I've decided to start doing these on the Smith machine a little bit more often. This is something that I've never normally consider doing on the smith machine i don't really know why but again i get such a good connection in my glutes and hamstrings so much better than with a barbell because you're not just focusing on the weight and the balance you don't need to focus on that as much obviously you've got a lot of stability with the smith machine so i would highly recommend doing both of these movements on the smith machine if you are maybe struggling with a barbell with this, you want to keep the bar as close as possible to your legs, almost touching your legs when you go down and then come back up. You want to keep a neutral spine and you again want to keep your chin tucked and your head facing down a little bit. You don't want to have your head up because you can definitely hurt your back by doing that. You also don't want to overly hyperextend your glutes at the top and by that I mean kind of squeeze your glutes really excessively inwards you just want to contract them all the way throughout the movement and if you want to get more of a hamstring connection in the RDLs I would recommend having less of a bend in the knee and if you want to have more glute connection then have more of a bend in the knee like you will have just seen that I was doing I had quite a bit of a bend in my knee because I wanted to get more of a glute connection over a hamstring connection Next up, we have hyperextensions. Now, I did two sets of 10 to 12 reps with this. This is the kind of movement that I would like to focus on a little bit more volume with. And this is a machine that my gym has just recently got in the gym and I really really like it but obviously not many gyms have this machine but you can do this on just a normal hyper extension piece of equipment with a dumbbell or a plate or a kettlebell or just anything that is comfortable for you to hold and I find that to get the best glute connection in this exercise I round the top of my back a little bit and as you can see I'm not coming all the way to the top I just kind of come up to a certain point where it feels comfortable and where I can really really feel my glutes and as you'll be able to see I'm again not overly hyper extending my glutes inwards I'm just contracting them throughout and then also keeping the bar that I'm holding on to or the dumbbell or the weight that you'll be holding on to for example keeping that nice and close to yourself rather than having it all the way out really far away from you I find that if you have the weight as close to your body as possible it also helps a lot with form and also stability
And then next I went into cable kickbacks. I neglected these for a little while, but I started implementing them again because I just think that the connection that they give is really, really good. And I feel like every single person is different with the form on these and what they prefer kind of for their body and things like that. But I feel that I get the best glute connection when I stand up a little bit straighter instead of leaning all the way forward. I know that some people say that they feel it a lot better when they are leaning really far forward. But for me personally, I done and this is the kind of stance that I feel it the best within my glutes. So yeah, maybe just have a little bit of a play around with this movement. I feel like it definitely takes some practice. So if you don't get it the first time, then don't be too frustrated. Just keep going with it and just test out lots of different kind of form variations and see which works best for you. This is also, again, a kind of movement that I would like to do a little bit more volume in. As you can see, I did two sets of 10 to 12 reps and that is our unilateral exercise of the workout, our single leg exercise. And then lastly, we've got some hamstring isolation. This is the lion leg curl. I either like to do this, the lion leg curl, or the seated hamstring curl. I like to do either, to be honest. I actually do prefer the seated hamstring curl, but again, I also like the lion leg curl and the, ham the seated hamstring curl wasn't free, so I had to use this one. But I actually implemented this with a three second negative. So as you can see on the way down, I'm counting three seconds so that the movement is nice and slow the reps are not being rushed or anything and it obviously just adds a little bit more intensity to the exercise especially because you're only doing two sets you want to make sure that those two sets are really really intense and you are pushing yourself as hard as you possibly can but yeah as this is obviously an isolation movement you want to be focusing on tempo and taking it really slow with your reps and really just focusing on the mind to muscle connection within the hamstrings Okay, I realised that I never actually filmed an outro for this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed the workout. I feel like I explained a lot about it at the start and throughout the voiceover, but I did just want to say that my glute workouts look more or less like this every single week. They don't look the exact same. I do like to switch up like the isolation movements and the unilateral movements and just kind of maybe do the same movements each week, but maybe with different equipment. For example, sometimes I do Smith machine step ups, sometimes I will do cable step ups. It just depends how I'm feeling, but more or less, it is the same per week. My compound movements are the same. Every single workout, I know that I always say that, but I always, always, always have RDLs and hip thrusts in my glute workouts, like whatever kind of variation that is, I either have some kind of variation of those two exercises at the start of my glute workouts. The same with my other workouts, the compounds are the same every time. That is just something that I want to emphasize on my channel is that things do not need to be overcomplicated. Like fitness really is simple. And I think that with a lot of information online, people get the impression that it's very complicated and you know, it'd be really unattainable to reach your goals and the journey to get to your goals is just really, really difficult when that is actually not the case. And I just feel like fitness is as simple as you make it and you don't need to be doing all this really complicated stuff like exercise wise things do not need to be overcomplicated. complicated i promise you that and i have found and seen the most results in myself by keeping things just plain and simple and just sticking to the basics honestly and working as hard as i can on those basics progressively overloading in them and things like that as i have already mentioned in this video but yeah the workout was actually really really good i've been a little like not in my head but i feel like i've not really been there mentally within my sessions at the moment and in this glute session I feel like I was just really there it was just kind of like a zone out session and yeah it felt really good 
Let me know if you guys give the workout a go. And if you wanted to know where my gym fit is from, by the way, it's from Honor Active. As always, every single fit that you'll see on me is from Honor Active. And that was a color that has just recently launched. So if you guys wanna shop, then the link is in the description. And if you have any questions with regards to the workout or just questions in general, then just leave them down below and I will get back to you. I'm also really sorry that this video has not gone up on my Sunday usual upload. It's just been Easter weekend and I've honestly just been with like my friends all weekend. So I've just not had time to edit this video, which I'm really, really sorry about, but I'm uploading this kind of like real time. It's currently Wednesday and I'm gonna upload it for you guys tonight. So I hope you enjoy the next vlog. Maybe the next vlog or the vlog after that is also gonna be a really exciting one because I am going on a very, very quick fleeting trip to LA next week for a shoot with Honor. It's honestly like a three day trip. So I'm really excited for that, but I'm gonna be very jet lagged. Like it's gonna hit me without me even realizing because the trip is gonna be so quick. But I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that because I feel like that could be really fun. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.